Ahoy, this is Denka. Another B-roll tutorial is here. This time it is how to film a solo B-roll cinematic sequence of yourself by yourself. For me, it's even step further because I have to film the whole thing with my camera to show you how to film yourself by yourself. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. By the way, this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. And for the new faces, welcome. My name is Zdeň Kadarla. If you're passionate about photography and video, consider subscribing to this channel. Today I'm going to be filming in Filmic Pro and manual mode. It's going to be a little bit of an advanced tutorial, but by all means you are welcome to film in automatic mode as well. What do you need is your smartphone. For the advanced ones, you will need also variable ND filter. I'm going to be using tripod with phone mount. I'm going to be also using expandable selfie stick, mini tripod, and a gimbal to help me stabilize certain clips. I'm gonna take you on a journey and show you how I am filming this cinematic B-roll step by step, explain what I'm doing, and also I'm gonna show you how I'm editing this whole final piece. Let's go through Filmic Pro settings. I'm filming in 4K in 60 frames per second. First thing you want to do to make sure that the shutter speed is locked. So it has to double. In this case, it's 1 120th of a second. I want to make sure the ISO is also as lowest as possible. I'm gonna be using variable ND filter to bring the exposure down. And I also unlock the focus to make sure it is automatic. And lastly, I select white balance. In this case, it is sunny. The whole sequence is going to start with walking shots. So at first I'm gonna be just on the ground revealing my feet as they're walking from few different size, looking at myself as I'm walking, walking through the nature. So let's do a whole bunch of shots like these. First shot, which was the walking shot, is finished and I did that with the ultra wide angle lens. I'm gonna do the same thing this time. I'm gonna record myself from the side. The only shot which I'm gonna be filming in DJI Mimo is when, when I'm walking and then I'm tracking myself because I can't track myself in Filmic Pro. Now, because I'm filming with iPhone 12 Pro, I can do manual mode so i'm gonna set up everything the way i would set up with filmic pro however if you have android you can't film in manual mode in dji mimo so let me set that up my resolution here is in 4k and i'm filming in 60 frames per second frame rate so my shutter speed is locked to 120 and my iso is the lowest 100 and now i'm ready to record i'm filming just with a standard lens to be able to track myself i'm gonna turn it to myself and just Press one time, trigger. And uh, now I'm gonna press record button and all I have to do is just walk back and forth and uh, record myself. I'm gonna do close up of myself as I'm actually walking there. So right now I left it in automatic and I'm just gonna walk there, stand there for a little bit. I place my phone much closer to get a close-up shot. To finish this scene, I'm going to do a few panning shots to show off this location with a gimbal. And I'm using ultra-wide angle lens. All close-up shots I filmed, I chose to film handheld. More close-ups on this plant against the sun. Um, I'm not liking them too much because when I see them, that means that the summer is kind of slowly, slowly, slowly going away. Yes, we are in the middle of the summer, but still these are the fall ones, the fall trees, mainly to me. <laughs> Whenever I film close-ups, it is always against the sun. You will get flares, you're not gonna see your own shadow, and it will not be flat. This 
is a very unfortunate place because there's a lot of red ants and I'm literally in the middle of them. One just got me, so I have to keep moving, can't stop in one place. Because I'm gonna be placing some clips on top of each other, I'm gonna have my smartphone just sitting in a camera holder on a tripod. If I had my smartphone on a gimbal right now, I would see a little drift. Each gimbal has a little drift, meaning that it's moving a tiny bit. So when I would be placing the clips on top of each other, I would have a trouble to frame it well. That's one of the reasons I need to have it just on a tripod, making sure the smartphone does not move at all. At first I thought I'm gonna film this part of the beach, but as you can see, there's a lot of algae, which is quite highly toxic. I don't wanna touch it too much. So I'm gonna move myself over there, but it seems to be a little bit more clear and uh, I'm gonna be able to get some close-up shots. And the whole sequence should be ending as me kind of walking away, far away, far away, to the distance. <laughs> I'm finished with filming all the clips. Let's go to studio where I'll show you how it is all edited. The editing program I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. Once in a while, I use DaVinci Resolve as well, but it is mostly Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I would like to mention that all the tools I was using to film this B-roll will be listed in a video description below the video. Also, all the tools I'm still gonna use to edit will be listed there as well. All right, timeline is in 24 frames per second. All edits are quite simple. Just cut clips, um, edit it together. But now let's actually look at the first effect I use, and that will be 3D effect. The way I created the 3D zoom effect is actually quite simple. What I did, I exported a frame. I basically created a photo from this clip. That photo, then I imported it to my phone, and I used CapCut app. All you have to do is import the photo into the app, select style, and then 3D zoom. And then you just watch as it is creating the effect for you. Once you play it, it's already finished. All you have to do is export this effect. When you export it, you have to make sure that you select the right settings. So I chose resolution 4K and frame rates 24 frames per second. When I was exporting the photo in Adobe Premiere Pro, I made sure I also cut the clip at that point. And then once I imported the 3D zoom effect clip, I just placed it right there between those two halves of the clip. I also made sure that the ending of the first clip is kind of the same resolution as a 3D zoom effect because I didn't want a big jump. So I had to zoom in a little bit on the clip to make sure that the head is kind of the same as on the starting of the 3D zoom effect clip. And the same thing I had to do with the second half of the clip. I needed to make sure that the head size is similar. So again, I had to zoom in a bit. One more visual effect I was using in this B-roll and that will be seeing myself as I am leaving the frame and also entering the frame at the same time. All I had to do is layer two clips on top of each other and use a mask to split the screen in half. As it was quite windy and grass was moving, I chose the static path for the border of the mask. And then I just feathered the edge of mask 250. This was just a basic edit, halfway done. It's time to mention the sponsor. Thank you very much to Epidemic Sound for making this video possible. In fact, all the videos, all the music you hear and sound effects are from them. Epidemic Sound gives you access to massive library. They own 100% of the music, so you don't have to worry that you receive copyright strike or takedown. And yes, you can use it on monetized channels as well. You can use it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and so on. The whole list is actually on their website. You can choose between personal and commercial plan. I love this service as you can easily find what you are looking for. It is all organized. You can create playlists, see what you downloaded in the past. What I usually do, I just play the music. I download it in the past, hit similar, and it will give me very much the same style of music I like. I've been with Epidemic Sound for a number of years and they always bring new fresh music. 
If you sign up to Epidemic Sound by using my link below in a video description, you will receive a free one month trial. Any videos you will use during the trial will remain safe and protected, even if you cancel your subscription after your trial month is over. Let's go back to editing. To stylize the whole B-roll, I did a lot more things to it. I use story blocks. I linked them below for pre-designed transitions, overlays, intros, and so on. I used RGB chromatic simple transitions to blend in the 3D effect. I used it at the beginning and at the ending of the 3D clip. I used it on the second 3D clip as well, but only at the beginning of the clip. To give texture to the whole video, I downloaded this all textured clip, which I then blended with overlay darken. Now, the lines and dots are showing up. One of the last steps would be adding abstract light leaks and lens flare. I used this clip and then just layered it again and blended with the mode screen. Further, I played with the opacity. I moved it to 50% so it's not too strong. On some of the clips, I even made it invisible by playing with opacity even more because it didn't make sense to have it on those clips. It was simply way too much. All was left to add the music, sound of the birds and sound of the transitions and it was finished. Now let's take a look. You got something, something I can never be without, yeah. I'm in your coming, thought I was a man of my own. Hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video and subscribe to future videos like these. If you have any questions, comments, simply want to say hi or ahoy, leave it below and I'll see you my friends in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.